All right, happy hump day. We're at the sawmill here. Today we're making some cans. We're gonna make five by eight by six by nine cans. And these are actually for duck decoys. So my buddy Tom, an FAG, who knows what an FAG is, former action guy. Tom and I met together uh, when we were doing the catch and release program in Baghdad in 04, and we've remained friends since. And now as a hobby, he carves ducks, decoys. I don't know why I just don't make them remote controlled and put guns on them, but he doesn't want to do that apparently. So the best wood for that apparently is wood called basswood. And we have a ton of basswood in our wood, so I brought him a basswood log, he bucked it, and I loaded it up, and we're gonna cut it today. Basswood is really soft, it rots out quick, but apparently they like it for carving and stuff. So let's let her rip and uh, make some cans, five by eight and six by nine. Today, and this is what happens when you cut nails with carbide bits. Sadly, we have a whole bunch of these that need replacing, but Phil and I will crack it out and get it done. And let's see, here's another one. These look really bad. Um, and we knew it, but the problem is it's a very large log and you just can't see what's going on and what's inside of it. We have a metal detector, which we don't really use, but it wouldn't catch them anyway. So the first order of business is to change out some of these bad bits. And there's a bunch of them on this, which that's the way it goes. Here's what they look like. All right, so we've got Gary, who's our sawyer today. And the good news is we cut these logs, we bucked these logs into 10 foot lengths. So they're not terribly long. So they're relatively easy to turn. Additionally, the duck decoy carving people like soft wood. And we have tons of basswood like this in our woods. So Tom and I dragged some of these out the other day, and now we've got 10 foot long basswood, which is supposedly soft. It does cut very easily deep in the woods, so I'm pretty sure there's no metal in it. And uh, they'll make nice blocks for these uh, duck decoys and for carving people. All right, so this is the first slice off the first log. So the nice thing is, since these logs aren't really big, they're relatively easy to turn over. But the first step in this process, like all you know, turning logs into lumber, is to square them up and make large cans. So what Gary's doing is he's gonna square this guy up, and we're gonna try and cut it right down the center where the pith is, because where the pith is, the center of the log, apparently splits a lot faster than the rest of the wood. So you really don't wanna use the pith as part of the carving part. So that's what we're doing now. We're going to rotate a couple times. The big advantage we've got here on these logs is since we're looking for large chunks, 4x6 and 5x9, they won't be a whole lot of different boards. So there's not a whole lot of cuts. So this whole project, you'll see, we're done with it in 90 minutes or something like that. Went relatively fast. So just a quick shout out to the helpers today. We got Gary, who's our story today. Um, Gary's doing a great job. He's done this a few times before and uh, he's doing well. Offloading, we've got um, Phil helping out and we got Matt working on rolling, Alan working on rolling, and we got Tom and Pete um, helping out too. So uh, we got a big crew today and everything goes real easily when you've got lots of people working here.
of these rectangular blocks we're making are called cants. Normally when we make a cant, we want to take all the bark off it and actually some of the sapwood on the edges. Um, in this case, it's a little bit different because these are going to be carved into ducks anyway, so all the edges are going to be probably carved out. So we decided, well, let's make a couple of the edges nice and perfect. Um, and if one or two of the edges have a little bit of bark on them, that'll be better off. Again, these logs were not like 28 inch diameter logs, they're fairly small, so it worked out pretty well. So as you can see, we got four cuts to square this thing off, and then basically one or two more cuts, and this log is done. So six, seven cuts um, with a 100 horsepower saw goes very, very fast, and making these blocks out of this thing is extremely quick. Uh, we had five logs. It took 90 minutes at max to do all of them. Uh, it was just a nice, easy day. So the byproduct of making boards or cants out of logs is a lot of slab wood. And what we do here is we'll take the extra slab wood and uh, give it to somebody to make firewood out of it. And this is some wood we cut last week and some of this week's wood. Normally it just gets thrown out because who needs it? So we'll load it up in somebody's truck and there you go, it's some firewood. So it turns out we knew the basswood was a pretty light wood, but this wood was a lot heavier than it looks. And here Phil's trying to hurt his back here. And, but these pieces were heavier than we expected. So it, you might have heard the chainsaw running in the background. What we did when these cans started coming off, they were 10 foot long. And then we uh, cut them into six foot pieces and four foot pieces. And they were still pretty heavy, but it worked out all right. Well, here we are. Took an hour or so to carve these up. We got plenty of basswood to make duck decoys out of. So uh, let's get cracking and head out of here. All right, guys. Thanks so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this. Please leave a comment. Give it a thumbs up. 
And most importantly, please hit that subscribe button. I'm trying to crack the YouTube code and figure out how to get to the magical number of 1,000 subscribers. We're almost there. Take care, guys. Thank you.